Okay, it's quarter past two in the afternoon, just finished work. It's the 27th of August, 2020. Car needs an MOT. Hopefully it won't need anything else doing to it. But MOTs here are £35. Before it doesn't need anything else doing to it. And even a place like this, you need a mask. So originally I was having a bit of a wonder. I might still do that. Trouble is, it's now starting to rain. Yeah, so not good timing. But I don't want to sit in there for how long it takes. It could be ages, so... Yeah, they did say, you're going to wait or come back later. Well, there's no point hanging around, there's no seats to sit on. Um, last time I went there, there was a waiting area. Not anymore, seats have been taken away. There was a TV, if you want to watch TV while standing. No, thank you. I'll go for a wander. Yeah, I've never been around here before. This is the first. Okay, it's just starting to spit. I did say it was going to... Hopefully it doesn't chuck it down. I had that. I had a uh, voicemail from you regarding my Hyundai. MOT. Morgan. Surname, Morgan. Something about a wiper. Oh, okay, no worries. How many, was it two it needed, was it, or just one? Yeah, 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 go for it, yes. Yeah, go for it, yeah. Yeah, no worries, we've got them in stock, we've got all them in, all them in. Okay. Nice one, cheers. Cheers, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, it's now starting to rain quite hard. I have no idea where I am. I really have got no idea. I've never been around it before. Uh, unfortunately, it's not passed. Uh, it needs a few wipers, 15 quid. So a little bit more longer waiting time and then uh, there we go. I literally have no idea where I am. No idea. Now, I didn't actually realise until a few weeks ago but we've actually got an outdoor cinema in Ashford. Didn't know where it was. So I had a little bit of a result, now I know where it is. But yeah, do that in the future. Absolutely so. There we go. So yeah, I'm really pleased to find that. Didn't know where it was, but then only a few weeks ago I found out we had one. Um, however, I won't go to it like this. I'll go use my car.
Okay, I just had a missed phone call. Unfortunately, I couldn't answer it in time. But I'm assuming the car is ready. But I'm extremely wet and I'm extremely cold. So, this is the problem, Jamie. You don't have a waterproof jacket. So anyway, let's go back to the car. About 10 minutes away. Absolutely soaked. <laughs> Only a fool would come out in the rain with a non-waterproof jacket. Right, about five minutes away. Dear, oh dear. Now this place here was actually my first job. That's how it all started. I was on £4.80 an hour making car seats. It was Colin Lever at the time. Um, make car seats for Aston Martin and Jaguar. Not anymore. But yeah, I absolutely loved that job. Really, really did. I mean, the money was poo, but then you got to start somewhere. And... Uh, yeah, unfortunately I was made redundant from there and uh, I got no redundancy money whatsoever. Not a single dime because I was underage. Right, I'm absolutely getting absolutely soaked now. Well, I am getting a little bit more confident now filming in public, but I'm still a little bit nervous. But yeah, I'm absolutely soaked. <laughs> My lord. Jamie, this is so bad. This is so bad. But this is in the summer. What is light in this country? Yeah, we're using this stuff. My lord. Right. Now where I need to go is actually next door. It's McDonald's, so I think I'm gonna treat myself to a nice cup of tea. Go get my car, go home, and get ready for the string. What outro to do, thumbnail to do, games to try out. Yeah, lots to do. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is change the seat position. Right, I think quite a lot of water went into this camcorder. Oh. Uh -huh. That's weird, it wouldn't start. What sort of MOT is that? But yeah, I can't remember the last time I had an MOT pass first time. There's always something wrong. Same with services, there's always something wrong. Last year, uh, just before Christmas, I had some new tyres, some new brake pads. Yeah, that was expensive. Um, but yeah, MOT, yeah. I have to admit, it was a few days late. And uh, I get paid tomorrow, which is why I left it as late as possible. Just in case it was too expensive. But anyway, what did I pay? Uh, the, the MOT was £35, one wiper was £6.67 and another one was £5.82. Bring it up to a grand total of... Oh, poo! £49.99. Right. Okay, it's quarter past 11 on the 29th of August 2020. I'm literally just about to upload my great Gianna sister's Hammer B video, which I've been editing all day. A lot of work for five minutes worth of viewing, but I'm really pleased with it. Anyway, unboxing. Got two of them. Okay, we'll start off with this one. Not a very expensive item, but I wanted it anyway. And it's actually a jiffy bag inside a bag. There you go, superb. I'm going to get a pass the parcel with one player. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> it is a little. My lord. I think it's getting smaller. Now we need a knife. I ain't got a knife. I need a pair of tweezers instead. Okay. We're in. Bought myself Airwolf on the CC4. It's a tremendous game, absolutely difficult though, but in the old days I was absolutely rubbish at it, which is why I want to do a long play in the future. The near future, hopefully. But yes, I'd also own it on a floppy disk. Don't copy that floppy. I didn't, but my brother's friends did at school. There you go, there's my collection. They're not all copies, some of them are originals. Here's an example. There we go, brilliant game. Robocop, that is an original. Unfortunately, I don't have the case anymore. It's a bit of a shame, but there we go. Yeah, quite a collection there. 
But anyway, tremendous game, love it. But yeah, it's going to take some doing to do the long part. Stringfellow Hawk, a former Vietnam chopper pilot and the only man in the free world trained to fly the billion dollar helicopter Airwolf. You have been assigned a dangerous rescue mission by the firm. Airwolf is a highly sophisticated billion dollar combat helicopter capable of supersonic speed with a weaponry system way ahead of its time. Hawk is the only pilot capable of handling Airwolf and so has been appointed to the task of penetrating the defense systems of an underground terrorist base devised by the criminal master mind general Zaranoff. Right. That was Next parcel, it's not a game, however it is game related. So, hopefully it's not damaged. Packaging is not great on this one. There you go. Jamie, you should have got a knife. And then knowing me, it could be absolutely anywhere. It could be on the floor, under the table, I could be sitting on it. Who knows? We'll go for force. Ouch! That, ah! That really hurt. Oof. Okay. Bought myself a new plug. I know what you're thinking. A plug for what? This could be for my Mega Drive. And it'll probably work on the Master System as well. Now you might have noticed on my Vlog 8 video, there was quite a lot of background noise on my footage for Street Fighter 2. And apparently, I've done a little bit of searching, but apparently it's due to these. I don't know if it's right or wrong, I'm not sure, but it's like a brick. It weighs an absolute ton. It doesn't actually. But if a burglar were to break through my door right now, I'd smack him on the face with that and I'd definitely kill him. Yeah, I might get arrested for it, but they're not having my Amiga boxes, no way. So anyway, a little bit of searching, and I'm going to give it a whirl. So hopefully this is hopefully going to solve the issue of the humming. If it doesn't, just throw it in a box with whatever plug I've got. But anyway, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, about an hour ago, I uploaded my Vlog 8 video, which I'm very pleased with. And I'm going to sit there and watch it. But I don't want to be sitting there watching it with an empty stomach. And I'm not going to cook today. I don't want to burn anything today. So what I've done is I've actually ordered a pizza. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have one which is professional and not burnt. Now, I've not ordered it from Domino's Pizza. I've not ordered it from Pizza Hut. And I've not ordered it from Pizza Express. I've actually ordered it from Super Pizza, which is so much cheaper. Really cheap. Hello there. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bingo! <laughs> Hello there. Oh, hiya. Oh. That's 50. No, it's 50. 51. Uh, 51 is. Yes. No, it's just. No, it's very rare that I order food, but mine's just turned up, and then five minutes later, there was another delivery, but it was actually for the wrong house. It was actually supposed to be next door, but yeah, I've only ended up with two. There we go. That's never happened before. Okay, it is actually half past ten at night. Is it too late to start cleaning your oven? I think so. Now, I mentioned this in vlog eight. This is the Mighty Oven Cleaner. Now, I'm going to give this a whirl. Kit contains bottle, bag and gloves. Cleans inside your oven, transforms racks and grills. Now, I didn't actually do it in vlog 8. I just spoke about it. But today, I'm going to do it. Now, I don't think it works on glass. So I've got to do that some other way. But yeah, I've burnt a lot of food in this oven, which is why these pans do need a little bit of a clean. Fine. Right. Okay. Danger. Corrosive. We need to read this bit. Warnings. Causes severe skin burns and eye damage may cause long-lasting harmful effects to aquatic life. Do not breathe dust, fume, gas, mist, vapour, spray. Wash thoroughly after handling. Avoid release to the environment. Wear protective gloves, protective clothing, eye protection, face protection. If swallowed, rinse mouth, do not induce vomiting. If on skin or hair, take off immediately all contaminated clothing. Rinse skin with water, shower. If inhaled, remove person to fresh air and keep comfortable 
for breathing. If in eyes, rinse cautiously with water for several minutes. Remove contact lenses if present and easy to do. Continue rinsing, immediately call a poison centre doctor. Specific treatment C on this label. Wash contaminated clothing before reuse. Some locked up dispose of contents container in bin. Pretty much solves up early, doesn't it? Right, okay, so we need gloves, we need a mask, we need goggles, right. Okay, we need something to protect my clothes. I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh. There you go, a bin bag. There you go. So. Right, I'm gonna get a whirl. I'm gonna get a whirl. So. so one bag is all we have. So if we make a mistake, it's game over. But I'm gonna go to the extreme. I'm gonna wash everything. Just don't punch at the back. And we've gotta leave it for two hours. So, I'm assuming we put the pans in first. Okay, the worst case scenario is I could get it on my skin and my arm will fall off. Or get it on my legs and my legs will fall off. But we'll take it one step at a time. But yeah, these are filthy. I mean, these haven't been washed since I got them. So place it in there nicely. Do not puncture the bag. Right, now this one is not too bad, but I'm just gonna wash it anyway. Pizza pan is revolting. That is absolutely disgusting. Place that in there. Um, now the grill, I've only used a few times, and as a result of that, these are pretty much clean, so they're okay. So, I, can't, do you know, I can't see a thing. You put your mask on and it steams up your glasses. So I'll put that one in there as well. Again, don't puncture it. And I'm gonna put this one in. You can see it, I, I, lit I literally can't see a thing here. So I, we'll put that in there as well. Now I have seen this done before, but it was a very, very long time ago. This, this stuff is really... Mighty Oven Cleaner comes in an easy to use bottle. Right, okay. Read through all safety instructions and information on the box prior to use. Inspecting the bag provided and do not use if there are any signs of damage on the way. Right, I'm just going to pour it all in. So I'm, I'm assuming we just pour it all in. Right. Okay. Right, bottle opener, that'll do. Right, there we go. Is it recording? Yes it is, I can't see a thing. That's a good thing. So, what we do now is seal the bag. Okay, so we leave that for two hours, and then apparently, after two hours, we then have to tilt the bag. But Jamie, make sure this is 100% sealed. We don't want vapors going into the atmosphere and killing more with us games. So, but apparently you've got to stay out of the room. It's fine, I've got anything to do in there, I'll do it in there. Okay. Okay, I've placed it in the bath. So, you've got to leave it for two hours, then you've got to tilt it, and then you've got to leave it for four hours. Trouble is, Jamie, that's going to be... So after doing my shopping, I went into town, I went into game, the computer shop, for the first time in seven months. Unfortunately, I didn't buy anything, but it was nice to have a look around. But I did go to WH Smith's, 
and I got the latest retro game mouse. I got that one. I've looked at that in a minute. And also, I treat myself to a brand new pad. £7.99. So there we go. W's a lot. And that's my phone. Okay, this is what you've all been waiting for. What was the results for the pans and the oven shelves? Well, the oven shelves, or racks, whatever they call them, have turned out alright, but then they won't be that bad anyway. But there we go, they look very, very good. Okay, pans. There were three that needed two in, desperately. Now, the stuff I bought, the chemical I bought, worked a bit, but it wasn't brilliant. The trouble is, you're supposed to limit to a maximum of two. Not six. I put three pans and three grills in one bag. So as you expect, I pushed it to the limit and it didn't succeed. So the following day, I went back to the shop, bought myself some Oven Bright, and I bought myself some Oven Prime. And I put those together in a separate bag. Whether you're supposed to mix them, I don't know, but I did it anyway. And again, not spectacular, but again, it was loosening it a little bit more each time. So I went to the shop the following day and bought myself another one. It probably would have been cheaper to buy yourself some new pants. But there we go, let's look at the outcome. So yes, this month I spent quite a lot of money on cleaning equipment. Yeah, I don't do it very often, but it does happen from time to time. But anyway, let's look at the results. There you go. It does look so much better. The problem is, I've used so much cleaning chemical on it. What I've done is, I've actually taken the top coat off, so now it's starting to rust. All around the side there is rusty. On the bottom is rusty. I've cleaned it so many times and it also smells of rust. So I don't know how long that's going to last. <laughs> this one looks alright. does look really, really good until you turn it around. Now this black around the outline is not burnt food. That's actually the colour of the pan. So I've taken that off as well. Um, so yeah, even that's now starting to rust. But it does look better, but again, I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'll use it anyway. Anyway, the ultimate. This is the pizza one. Look at that. Superb. Trouble is, I don't know if it's supposed to be that colour or black. I don't know. But this one is rusting, but not as much. But yeah, it does look good. But then that was four years worth of grime on there. And this has had a lot of burnt pizzas. There we go. Okay. So yeah, now they're not really, really dirty. They're just really, really rusty. So now I'm probably going to be poisoning myself by eating rusty food. So we'll put that in there. But yeah, I think over the course of time, Jamie, it might be a good idea to just buy yourself some new pans. Treat yourself. You know, you treat yourself to a notepad here today. You know, treat yourself to a few more pans. There you go. <coughs> we'll see what happens when I apply heat to it. I don't know. There we go. All I'm going to do now is clean this glass, but one step at a time. Now, when I bought them originally, I bought them from Dunelm. And my mum was with me. I can't remember if they're supposed to be this colour. They could well be. So... We'll have to wait and see what happens. But the grill is immaculate. Grill is actually the cleanest thing in this house. Jasper. Oi. You've got your flu jab later. I'm sorry about that, but it happens once a year and you'll do a flu jab. Oh, Jasper! <laughs> <Come on. laughs> yeah, boy.
Right, it's only about five minutes down the road. Yeah, unfortunately I can't get both myself and Jasper in the uh, in the shot. But he's there. Hello <laughs> Jasper the cat. Yes. Yes, he's a good boy. He always is. Always is at the vets. However, he has had quite a lot of unnecessary trips to the vets. However, he's been good lately. Touch wood. Um, He's had a few bad injuries because he's got into a few fights in the past. And trouble is, he always loses. <laughs> and who has to pay the bill? Me. <laughs> but there we go. When it comes to having flu jabs, he's very, very good. Now, originally, his flu jab was needed in August. And when I rang him up, they said, because of the situation we're currently in this world, they're struggling to uh, get through all the um, appointments. So they said, well, you are given three months anyway from the point where it's due. And they said, ring back in September. And I did just that. And I got an appointment within four days. I thought I was going to say, like, next week or the week after. But yeah. No. Right, now apparently they're only letting in one person at a time. Uh, which I suppose makes sense. Anyway, we're here. So, until we get that call to go in, what's the wait in the car? I suppose that does make it a lot less stressful for the animal, certainly cats anyway. So I'll just go and sign in, mate. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so you speak to the receptionist who is indoors and you are outdoors in a marquee. And you let them know you're here and they're just going to sit in your car and then they'll come and find you, basically. But there's actually um, four people waiting and everyone's got dogs. Hello? Yes. Well, Jasper the cat, you have proved once again you're a very, very good boy at the vet. Yes, you might have weed in a few places you shouldn't have done in the past, like my hood or my plastic Batman mask, but you always are a very, very good boy at the vets. Now, unfortunately, my camcorder is extremely low on battery, so it might die. <laughs> now, that cost me £50.20. and 20 pence. A bit of a random amount, I know, but there we go. He's covered for another year. Okay, it is September the 12th, 2020. It's Saturday. What am I doing today? I'm doing a pickup video. Now, I have to admit, I'm extremely behind on pickup videos. In fact, I'm quite behind on many videos, but I'm getting there. Now, my last pickup video wasn't one of my greatest, it was my June video. Unfortunately, I uploaded it in August. I was two months late down the line. And I'm still running a bit late. So, I've still got July to do. 
August to do, and September is pretty much non-existent in terms of buy-in because I supported the Kickstarter for the Spectrum Next. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to combine July and August together in one video, that way I can catch up. That would be a grand total of seven games, five on the Mega and two on the Season 4, but let's spice things up a little bit. Now I'm starting things off with Skid Marks on the Amiga. Tremendous game. I thought I played it in the old days, but I didn't. I didn't. Days. But I've got it as... it could be interesting. What I'm going to do now is write some statistics down, use the manual and a little bit of unlining, and then get some statistics, and then we're going to go for it. So, got my pen, got my pad, my paper. We're going to go for it. More enough. Alright. So, statistics are now done. So I've now got to put them on either side of the TV. However, reading statistics while driving a car is never an easy task. Okay, so the game is Skid Marks. A recent game released in 993 by Asics Software Studio, followed by 995 Super Skid Marks, also released for the Mega and the C32, which I have in my collection. Good fun, brilliant game. Skid Marks was developed in Blitz 2 by Andrew Blackmore. Rodney Smith from Vision Software was responsible for all the graphics in the game, including the modelling of the three-dimensional cars in Imagine and the detailing of the tracks in Deluxe Paint 4. The music was written by Anthony Mylas. The development was developed by Mark Sibley, who was also responsible for the nasty two-way road in one of the tracks. That was all to do was why I spent so much time hitting the railing, but it's brilliant. And I have to admit, I thought I played this in the old days. I was wrong. I was so, so wrong. Now in this game, you have four cars, however you can only have a maximum of two different styles of car in each race. So of course, in the later game, more cars, more kinds of cars, and more tracks. This one is a figure of eight, which appears in so many games. It looks tremendous, plays well, but it's challenging. But it's also difficult when you try to read while doing it. <laughs> there we go! Success! I won that one. Now pick up videos, depending on how many I've bought of course, tend to be very time consuming. Now normally I'll play all the games and then edit at the end, but today, and I've done it a few times in the past, I'm going to try and edit as I go. So when you've done one game, edit it. Go on to the next game, edit it. It might take slightly longer, I just don't know. But it certainly does break the ice a little bit. But there we go, I've done one game, six to go. <laughs> Day two of the pickup video. Unfortunately, I didn't get all done with day one, so unfortunately it rolls on another day. But I still got a lot to do. But I was editing as I was going. But yeah, I've got four more games to do. I'm gonna start things off with Harley Quinn, which I believe I showed you in vlog seven. That was a really good purchase. It wasn't really expensive, but it's a Macula box. But again, go through the manual and get some statistics, and then we're good to go. Okay, so the game is Harlequin, a strategy-based platform game for the Amiga and Atari ST, released in 902 by Gremlin Graphics. The game was written by Andy Finley, with graphics by Ed Campbell. It was produced by Pete Cook, the sound was credited to Imagitech, and composed and arranged by Barry Leach. The game's tagline is probably the strangest game ever. Okay, it is 7.05. It's streaming day, I've got 55 minutes to get ready. Today is a PlayStation 2 stream, and everything's running perfectly today. Last stream was a C64 stream, and the Elgato just wasn't playing ball. 
it just wouldn't work. Eventually it got working, but it took me about half an hour, which maybe half an hour late. But today, boom, boom, pow, it's working. So I've got to get the screen in place. Now, a new screen, hopefully next month. Hopefully. Now, Lee Robertson gave me a link to a screen which is, I believe, in Curry's PC World, something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to get that next month. It's quite pricey, but I need to get a bigger screen and one that is easily usable. Right. And there's multiple reasons why I want another monitor. One, because I want a bigger screen. Two, I want one that has a stand on the side permanently. And three, like this one, it's a classic example, this one broke. So it just stopped for no reason. And the same with this one, you know, it could suddenly stop for no reason. So if it happens, at least I'll have a backup. So that's the reason, that's one of the reasons. Also, the chat is just really, really fast paced and I need a bigger screen to read it. But I love the chat, I really love it. So, now because I'm playing on the PlayStation 2 today, it's a much smaller system. So it gives me more space on here. So the more space I've got, the closer the screen can be. So that is a good thing. Yeah. So the outro, what is that on the, what is that? What is that? Jamie, your camcorder screen is really dirty. So we're ready to go. We are ready to go. The outro is done, thumbnail done. I posted it on Discord. I posted it on the Facebook fan page. Green screen is in place. Lights are in place. Right, as you can see, like, so we've got to sort this chat window. As you can see, it's slightly slanted, but then it shouldn't be that way anyway. But it won't be much longer. So we're going to display settings, and we're going to turn it around. So select screen two, and we're going to make it portrait. There you go. Keep yes. Uh, there we go. Done. Uh, now we need to put the chat onto there. Now every week I use a fresh chat, so you need a fresh link. So we go to pop out chat. And then you highlight, even though you can't see it, my head's in the way. We copy the link, and then we move it across. So boom, boom, and some pow. There we go. There we have my chat. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten questions. A lot of questions. Right, T, Jane, you still don't have one. Testing one, two, three. Headphones, have they got enough cable? Is it going to be going underneath that or through that? No, it's fine. Ouch! Test one, two, three. Right, we've got two. Okay, at the moment of time, we've got. At the moment of time, we've got 14 watching and two likes already. Yeah. The Grand Duke, hello, everybody. Um. I to trouble is, this is the point where it's too late. If you've done something wrong, it's too late. But I always worry, have I forgotten anything? I don't think I have. I really don't think I have. Right, disc is in. We're using original hardware here. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Hello to Ben L. Hello to Michael McCartney. Hello to Michael Jensen. Hello to Ant-Man 2019. Hello Gumnio, hello King Arthur, oh hell the king! Hello to Anthony Brown, hello to Andrew Dublin, hello mate, hello to Nathan Mosley, hello, At Rusty James, hello, Daz, hello, Celtic Knight, hello, Swedish House Amiga, hello, Stevie Boy with his new icon, what is that? What game is that? Hello Stevie Boy with his new icon, leave in chat, PS2 stream, cool, yes, why not, spice up a little bit. Hello to the Grand Duke. Have you got back with Cider? Hello to Norbert. Hi kids. Man Cave Hobbies is here as well. Hello, Matt James. New cap. Yes, I treat myself. Yeah, why well, blue's my favourite colour? Hello everybody. <laughs> How are you all people doing? Right, it's PlayStation 2 stream. Now I've picked quite a few games, but all the games I have today are originals. We're not doing any emulation here, it's all original hardware. This is original cases. Hello to Samantha. Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Hope you and David are well. And Matt, of course. I'm going to go for a new game. This is a game I have completed. Even though it does say 74%, but I haven't collected absolutely everything. Why not? Very observant. Well, we are, we are quite observant. We have to be, don't we? Hello to David Jensen. But yeah, I can't work out what it is. Some person standing there. I don't know what he's holding in his hand. Possibly a gun? I'm not sure. 
Sweet selection of games tonight. Thank you, Chaotic Night. Yeah, it's one of those things. You either love it or you hate it. But it seems like quite a lot of people do. But of course, it's going to be some people that don't. Hello to Mark Blaster, the gamer. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Bloodborne is an amazing game. Well, do you know what? Apart from a quiz stream, I think we've got the most questions ever today. Ten, I believe it is. Okay, it's ten past one on Friday, the 25th of September, 2020. I just finished work. Now, I've got a few unboxings. But today was actually my last day at work for a week. I've got one week off. Unfortunately, it's not two, but I'm not going to be doing much resting. I'm going to be getting ready for the quiz stream. But anyway, this one arrived about a week ago. This one arrived today. So do a quick unboxing. So on the way home from work, went to the shop, bought myself some more McVitie chocolate hot knobs. And also bought myself a tuna and cucumber sandwich. And I do have a cup of tea. Did buy that. I made that myself. And this first parcel, or package, I actually bought while doing a live stream. Yeah. It's a C64 game. A game I'm not overly good at, which is why I bought it as a case version. Okay. Bought myself on the C64 California Games. Brilliant game, I'm terrible at it. The problem is I don't have an instruction book or instruction manual, don't have them. But anyway, hopefully this will have an instruction book or instruction manual. Hopefully now when I do the events, I know what I'm doing. The smell of the surf, the sun on your back, the sand in between your toes. This isn't California dreaming, this is real. Six of the best West Coast sports design to set your pulses racing, featuring skateboarding, BMX bike racing, roller skating, foot bag, surfing and flying discs. California Games is quite simply the apex of computer sports gaming. The pictures and sound generated by this program are atmospheric beyond belief. There you go. There you go, it has an instruction manual, brilliant. Last time I streamed it, I actually was making quite good progress, even though I didn't have an instruction manual. But it's going to be interesting to find out a little bit more about the game. Next item I ordered from Sidetronic Software, and I have to admit, there was a little bit of worry at one point, because it took about two weeks, and I still hadn't had a confirmation about my payment. So I emailed them, and they're very, very helpful, and let me know, and said it's fine. So, no harm done. Now I'm actually prepared with a Stanley knife. This one should have three items. It should do. Don't stab yourself, Jamie. Right, nice and carefully. Now these are all fairly newish games, and it's for the season four. And it's bubble wrap, very, very well. Right. And we're still going. <laughs> not a bad thing, not a bad thing at all. You don't want these sort of things getting damaged. Well, to be honest with you, you don't want anything getting damaged, really, do you? So, there you go. There you go. I have to admit, I love these case designs. There we go, I bought myself Knight and Grail. Brilliant game. In this epic adventure, you control a brave knight on a quest to find a magical grail that will save your beloved from a curse that has turned her into a dragon. Many dangers await you as you explore over 200 screens on your quest to find the grail. You are not defenceless, however. You will find weaponry and armor upgrades during your travels, and will even discover new powers that allow you to reach previously inaccessible areas. There you go, I love that design. There you go, I bought myself another one. I bought myself Aviator Arcade 2. It's a tremendous game on the CC4. Unfortunately, I missed out the first opportunity to get myself a box version, but I believe it's sold out. So this one arrived on the scene. Bye. It's a premium plus edition. The terrorist unit known as the X-Force has occupied the peaceful city of suburbia as a top pilot in the world's anti-terrorist squad. The job is defeating the terrorists falls to you. Flying your state-of-the-art attack helicopter, you are sent into what seems to be a straightforward search and destroy mission. But as the story unfolds, you become apparent and the X-Force's goal is more sinister than anyone could have imagined. There you go, brilliant. Now, I did mention last time I streamed on the CC4 that I bought myself Legend of Atlantis on a cassette, and there it is. It's a brilliant game, but I'm stuck. I have to admit, I'm stuck. The trouble is, I don't think I'm too far away from the end. It's a brilliant game, though. Take on the role of Rocky Memphis in a thrilling arcade adventure for the CC4. Explore ancient ruins, avoid deadly traps, solve cunning puzzles, and battle with the guardians of the temple to uncover the secrets of the Legend of Atlantis. There you go. Okay, let's get back to doing some Vlog 9 footage. This is now the 10th of October 2020. I finished my live stream last night, which is superb. A completing Silkworm on stream was definitely the highlight of the stream for me. 
Now, last week I did my quiz stream, which went very, very well. A few minor issues, but hopefully now we can move forward and everything is good. But a lot of work went into that, but I'm really pleased with it. But anyway, we have some unboxings. Okay, I've got three unboxings. Now, normally I'll wait for all of them to arrive, because one of them hasn't arrived yet. But we'll go with three. Three is the magic number. But whenever one arrives, I'll open that separately. But anyway, one of these is sent by Mark Hall, I think. It's this one. I've just messaged him on message to find out, but mate, thank you for watching this back. It really means a lot. Thank you. Now, we're going to start things off with this one. This one, I believe, is Amazon. So, yeah, good old Amazon. So, again, it's going to be quite messy in here, but it always does when you do these little videos. Now, I haven't been awake long. I'm very tired. Right. Okay, amazingly, this is a game I've not played yet, but I wanted to buy myself a physical version. This is Street Fighter Raid 4, and I bought it on the Xbox One. But yeah, a lot of people played it, a lot of people finished it. I haven't played it yet, it's not about this box. 26 years ago, later, the legendary series Streets of Rage is finally back with a brand new episode. With lush, hand-drawn animations, new combat abilities, and fresh tracks from an amazing team of composers. Streets of Rage 4 is a masterful return of the classic action series fans adore. The comeback of the legendary Streets of Rage series, two online players, up to four locally. 17 playable characters, including 12 in pixel art, beautifully hand drawn. What was that, Jamie? Hand drawn animated graphics, classic gameplay enhanced with brand new mechanics, 12 unique stages, and new game modes. There you go, superb. Now, this one I bought from eBay, and it wasn't overly expensive. Now, this one is a box I already do own in my collection, but as I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, I want to try and replace the ones that are slightly damaged over the years. The one I've got isn't overly badly damaged. It was just too tempting to turn down. It was 9 99 which for me is a bargain because the condition is ripped. It's taken me ages to cut into this box, but I'm so worried about cutting into the actual item. Yeah, but this is packed very, very well, and it's got bubble wrap, which is brilliant. Alright. There you go. Bought myself Web of Terror. Now, I love this game. However, a lot of people probably would hate it. But it's on the Mega, and I think it's brilliant. But I haven't played it for years. And this is the one I just bought. And this is the one I bought in the old days, which was a good shop in Folkestone at the time. Unfortunately, it went a long, long time ago. But unfortunately, there was a label that was on here. And I left it on there for years. And all of a sudden, I took it off. And it actually took some of the artwork off. But I love the artwork. So I bought it again. But yes, yeah, so much better. Somewhere out of the deepest reaches of space, they are waiting on a place called Arachnia, where the eight-legged inhabitants crawl along strands of a giant web. And caught on one of these strands, like the helpless insect, a cruiser, Lysteria. The passengers are forced to take their chances on the web, and soon find themselves being hunted down by the creeping predators. Their only hope is one man. You are that man, Rock Bimhead, Space Ranger. Your craft can only carry so many, and your weapons aren't that powerful, but you're their only chance. There you go. Right. Okay, next parcel. This one, I don't know what it is. It could either be eBay or it could be sent by an awesome subscriber called Mark Hall. Well, let's find out. But anyway, if it is Mark Hall, thank you. Really, really appreciate it. And it's a game I've never actually heard of. When he messaged me, I thought, nope, never heard that one before. But it's wrapped very, very well. Thank you. Thank you very much. But yeah, this is a mystery to me. Absolute mystery. Again, I don't want to cut into the box. I always put a letter in there. This is Mark Hall's. Thank you, mate. Thank you. It's so nice that awesome people like yourselves put letters in there for me. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> it's a. It's wrapped so well. It really is. Oh, he's put some sweets in there. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Oh, mate, do you know what? I haven't had those for years. I just buy those from Marks and Spencers. There you go. <laughs> Got some pigs. Yeah, Percy pigs. Made with real juice fruits. Mate, thank you. They're nice. They're very nice. That's just too tempting. It's too tempting. It's like bubble wrap. You can't help but pop it. Anyway. Mate, that's so nice of you. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, mate. Yeah, it's from Mark Hall. Thank you for doing your fantastic channel. Your hard work is greatly appreciated. Thanks, Mark. Mate, thank you. Thank you so much. It is so nice of you. It really means a lot. Thank you. And the... <laughs> We're still going. We're still going. Ah, it's a big box. It looks brilliant. He did say it was in mint condition. 
Wowzers, that is mint. I mate, I've never heard this before. Turbo Tracks. 94% Games Master, 92% Amiga Action. Never heard of it, mate. I've never heard of this one before. And they did say on the back it's actually in German. So I won't be reading that anytime soon. <laughs> but apparently inside it is it's actually in English. I love the box. It's English. Andreas! I need, I need Andreas here! Andreas Dublin! <laughs> Uh, your traveling skills are about to be tested to their limit. Turbo Tracks contains 25 of the most grueling courses any driver could hope to encounter, set over five different terrain types. You will be pitted your skills against five other intelligent and tactical racers as you speed through cities and across deserts in what is surely one of the finest arcade racing games you'll ever play. You have to perform well to advance to the highest stages where the s tracks are tougher in your position are more meaner. Only the best can hope to enter the final one on one battle to find who is really the king of speed. To give you a chance, the circuits are littered with bonus features including turbos, spanners and cash. Perhaps buying upgrades for your car will give you that edge you need, but be careful, a car that races faster can crash harder too. That's brilliant mate, thank you so much. I look forward to playing now, I've never heard of it before. Uh, copyright 1995 Black Legend Software. Brilliant. Have you heard of it? Please put a comment in the comments below. Apart from Mark, who definitely has. There we go. Brilliant. There we go. I've got to send Mark a message for that. Thank you. Okay, it's now Saturday, and I'm going to do a long play today. I'm going to do an Amiga long play today. And I have to admit, there was two games I had in mind, but I think I've made my choice. Now, I haven't done many long plays recently, because I've been so busy doing vlogs, and get rid of the quiz. And speaking of the quiz, this is my new monitor, which you can't quite see. Now, on my behind-the-scenes quiz vlog, I showed you it. Now, if I'm doing streams, it's in this perspective. When I go into a long play mode, I rotate it. And it's so much easier, so much better. No more bungee cords, no more... Boxes. But yeah, it's Okay, unboxing time. Now, Jamie, this has turned out to be a bit of an unboxing vlog, but then this vlog 9 was over the course of two, maybe three months, because I was so busy doing other things. So, of course, purchases have been made, and I can buy them into one video. Now, two of these are gaming related, and one of them is not. So, we'll do that one first, but this arrived about three weeks ago, I just haven't unboxed it yet. Right. Okay, start off with this one. This is not gaming related, but it's something I need. Because <laughs> I drink a lot of tea. Does that confuse you? Yes, probably. Right, so this was on eBay. It's very random, but why not? Okay, I know it's random, but I bought myself a Quickshine Descaler bag. Basically, you just put it in your kettle. Now, as you know, I can drink a ton of tea. I really do. But the kettle needs to be looked after. Now, my mum gave me one of these about a year or so ago, and I thought, that ain't gonna work. That's clearly not gonna work. It does. It works in an instant. The Universal Descaler in a drop-in bag. Quick, convenient, and safe. Yes, brilliant. Kettles, suitable for all kettles, boil half a kettle of water, unplug, drop in a descaler bag into the kettle, leave for 25 minutes, remove water, and spent sachet, rinse, pour out, and use. And it's good as new. And there it goes, so we'll do that later on today. But yeah, it's like a, a gigantic tea bag. But okay, going for this one first. I have to admit, there's a little bit of worry because on eBay it says this is going to be delivered in between two certain times or two certain dates, which is fine. The trouble is, in between that time, I got home from work one day and my front door was open. Not my main front door, my porch door. And I thought, okay, that's worrying. Because what I thought had happened, either me being an income poop, and I didn't shut it correctly when I went to work, or the postman has delivered a parcel, didn't shut the door, and then someone's walked past my house, and I saw the door was open, saw a parcel on the floor, and I thought, oh, I have that. So I thought maybe it's been pinched. No, it hasn't. So it's here. It arrived quite late, I have to admit, but taking nothing away from the seller, she's brilliant. So I'm going for that today, and I've got 
a choice. <laughs> Look at me, I've got a choice on a Stanley knife and a pair of scissors. Spice up a little bit and use a pair of scissors. Now, as a, again, it's wrapped absolutely superbly well. Now, this was a bargain. This is an absolute bargain. Now, most of you are probably absolutely going to hate this game. I love it. I think it's a really, really good game. Now, I do have it already, but I don't have this particular version. Because it's a bargain, because it's a game I love, I couldn't help it. So, bought. And I have bought myself quite a lot, actually. Not all of them are expensive. The occasional one is. But I'm delighted with this. I really, really am. I was actually waiting until 3 o'clock in the morning last night because I'm on the late shift. I was actually doing some tidying. I had some really, really major organisation going on in this house and the place was an absolute disgrace. But I wanted to do it. Now I'm making myself more mace. Right. I'll sign up later. Right. Okay, I bought myself the A1200, A4000 version of Rise of the Robots. Now I love this game. It gets absolutely annihilated, but I love it. And I've got it on the C32 as well, which is here. Now this doesn't weigh very much at all, because of course it's on CD. But this is heavy. This has got about 12 discs, something like that. But 11.99. Now bear in mind, this is very, very heavy. I mean, 11.99 is what I probably would have expected to pay for the weight of it, because it's very, very heavy. So, I love it. And this is absolutely mint. But this is, there we go, check that lot out. 13 discs, I was wrong, I thought it was 12, it's 13. So this is now my most amount of discs in a mega box that I have in my mega box collection. That's crazy, isn't it? You have the install disc. You have intro A, intro B, intro C, intro D, intro E. Five discs just for the intro alone. Then you have disc one, disc two, disc three, disc four, disc five, disc six, and disc seven. We have a grand total of 13. Now I'm gonna play this very, very soon. And I'm really interested to see if all these discs will work. If all 13 work, what a buy that is. But I love it. Yes, it's a lot of work. Yes, it's a lot of discs. Yes, it's a lot of loading times. But that's retro for you. You can't beat that. But there we go. I'm delighted with that. I really, really am. Tickle pink with that. But yes, the game gets annihilated. But I think it's brilliant. I really do. This has got its flaw. But then most games do. Okay, final parcel. This is Cytronic. Now, even though it's one parcel, it doesn't contain one item. I think it contains about six. But yeah, I, I love it. And I'm not spending stupid money, but I love it. I, I, why we treat ourselves? Why not? We live once. We must treat ourselves. Now, my most expensive item has still to arrive, and that is something which I desperately need. We'll get to that later on in the video. Right. Again, it's wrapped brilliantly. It really, really is. Cytronic software. Tied it up later on today. Brilliant. Okay. Righto. Let's go. I need a bigger house soon. I really do. Oh, right. And rocky loo. Right. Okay. Again. Brilliant. Now, this is Jasper's chair. He sits in it more than I do. But at the moment, it's a, it's a table. Okay, start things off with audio CD. Cannot go wrong with a little bit of shoot and die, aka Toekan. Now, this is the C64 soundtrack, which is brilliant, absolutely superb. It's got one, two, and three. Toekan 1 has six tracks, Toekan 2 has nine tracks, Toekan 3 has 13. But yeah, that is brilliant. Really, really pleased with that. Brilliant. Right, first one. I have streamed this before. This is a Sub Hunter. It came out in the year 2008. Brilliant. It's a shoot 'em up. I love shoot 'em ups. The scientific experiment has gone horribly wrong, and now the oceans have been taken over by mutant fish. Destroy the fish and save the swimmers who have become stranded in their mist. Watch out for enemy subs that will do anything to keep the secrets. You are the sub hunter. 25 levels of subquatic blasting action. Good game. Very good game. Okay, next up, Solus. Now, I haven't actually played this before, but it looks tremendous. It really, really does. And this is very, very difficult to read. Very, very small text. And the trouble is, the text is not the greatest. Ryzek? I think it says Ryzek. A powerful warrior, King... grew tired of constant war. He declared a time of peace, but was betrayed by the generals. A curse was placed on him, transforming him into a gruesome beast, and he was cast into a tomb for all time. 1,000 years later, a great quake shattered the wall of the tomb. Ryzek can now escape and reclaim his soul. 
and take his rightful place as king once more. His fate is in your hands. There you go. Love the artwork. Next up, Darkness. Now, I haven't actually played this before, but I have seen footage. It looks really good. And I mentioned it on my My Life long play I did on the CG4. And it's similar to Saber Wolf, that sort of thing. But yeah, it looks good. Into darkness I must go to find my beloved taken from me. The jungle deep, the rivers flow. What lies ahead, I cannot see. Into darkness I must go. This jungle has a thousand eyes. Without a gun or deadly bow, I wander around angry skies. The adventurer Stan, 06-11-1937. There we go. And finally, I bought myself Sheepoid XD and the Woolly Jumper. There we go, it's actually two on one tape. Now, my mate Jeff played this on his channel. That's when I first saw it. it looks brilliant. Right, sh okay. Sheepoid DX. Planet Earth is under attack from space goats. To avert this threat, we have sent two Sheepoid units into their mothership. Use your Sheepoid to wipe out the strangest alien threat and save the Earth from domination. Woolly Jumper. Poor Pepito. The sheep is lost in mind space. You must help him escape from the nightmare by guiding him through levels of guarded but green Martian, space chickens and wiggly worms. Copyright 2013, The New Dimension, published by RGCT and Cytronic Software. There we go, superb. Now because this vlog has very few unboxings, I thought why not, let's add another one to it. There we go, this is Amazon. This is why when I got home from work, and this is a very heavy box, this contains two items, and one of them is very expensive. So, let's go for it. Right, now I have to admit there's a little bit of worry when I ordered this, because I kept thinking, have I done the right thing? I don't know. I mean, I have got one already, but it is playing up. Okay, before we get to the expensive item, I also bought myself another joystick. This is a Speed Link, this is actually my third. And the first one I bought was actually faulty, but me being me, I didn't take it back. And the other one's alright, but yeah, it's always nice to have a bit of backup. And of course, if I have friends come over, we'll always play some two players. Right. Okay, the main event. Now this... Okay, I bought myself a new Elgato. This is the HD60S. Cost me £165. And the one I had before is the HD60. So that S cost me another £65. That's one expensive S. Now, well, I'm not sure if they still do the HD60. I'm not sure. I couldn't see it on Amazon, but you do get other ones as well. But I think, no, 165 was my limit. I didn't want to go any higher than that. But I have to admit, I did um and ah about it. I thinking, shall I or shan't I? Shall I? It's a lot of money. And I do have one. It does work. Most of the time. It has been a few times, but it's not. And it only seems to be on the CT4 that causes the most issue, but it's been a few times I've actually missed my starting time on stream. So I'll give it a try. Stream and record instantly. Instant game view. Stream with superior low latency technology. 1080p, 60 frames per second, stunning quality. Built in editor, immediate access and sharing. Instant production. Stream and record immediately. And live commentary, add your voice. And also, it did say on Amazon that the lag, there shouldn't be any lag at all. Now, a few people have said on stream that every so often you do get a little bit of lag. So I do wonder if this might solve it. But anyway, I'll try it out soon. Okay, let's spice this video up a little bit. Let's try out this Descaler bag. So I'm following the instructions on the back of the box. Boil half the kettle of water, unplug, and then drop the descaler bag into the kettle and then leave for 25 minutes. Luckily, I've already made myself a cup of tea, so that's fine. There you go. That has boiled. <coughs> Need some tongs. Because in here... ...is one of those, which didn't really do anything, I have to admit. Yeah. It's actually really difficult to do. I'm trying to use my torch on my phone to shine some light in there. But there we go, there's a lot of limes going in there, as you can see. Quite a lot. All we're going to do now is boil some water.
Why not, eh? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> right, um... How long... Leave for 25 minutes. Why not, eh? Why not? <laughs> I've just had some strawberries and cream. So, yeah, Mr. Dishwasher. Nice. Nice. About 95%. But yeah, there's a little bit in there still. But that's not too shabby really now, is it? So, cup of tea now. Well, it's about 90, oh poo. It's about 95% better. Jimmy, what are you doing, man? Oh, it's going over the floor. Yeah. Okay, it's now Wednesday. I have to admit, today has turned out to be not quite what I expected because once again, my internet provider, AKA Virgin Media, and name and shame you, have let me down. I just cannot get a signal. So, it's frustrating because I'm paying a lot of money for it as well. But anyway, as a result of that, I can't do the thumbnail, I can't do the outro, and I can't do the intro. So, we're going to do this instead. We're going to test out the HD60S. And it, it looks pretty much identical, apart from the one different connector which is there. So, we're using a different connector this time. And I can try this out, and it's actually the C64 stream this Friday. And it's usually the C64 which it fails to capture first time. <coughs> so, if this captures first time, it'd be brilliant. Okay, and it gives you two cables. I've got so many of these HDMI cables, I'm going to leave it sealed in the bag. But the connector is actually slightly different, so hopefully that might improve the quality, even though I, I, the quality is pretty good anyway. But there's always been an issue with audio sync. Now, the game footage is always about half a second out. So, we're going to give it a try. Okay, I'm actually recording this on two separate cameras. So, we're going to be trying this out. Now, hopefully... I hope so, it's going to capture up the first time, because it hasn't done that in a very long time. So, is it in place? Capturing it, yes it's on there. Right, three, two, one, go. Right, the CC4 is on, can't see the Elgato from here. Not plugged in, is it? <laughs> Jamie, you haven't plugged it into the laptop. It's not going to work, mate. It's not going to work. Right, we'll do this again, shall we? Okay, it's all plugged in with the correct leads. Now, I'm recording this on two different cameras. So, are we ready? It's going to work first time. £165 worth of Elgato. Fire it up. Season 4 is on. Well, unfortunately, I can't do it, can I? Because Virgin Media is down at the moment, so I can't actually download the program. Now, I do have the program, but I'm guessing because it's a different design, it's going to need a different program. But yeah, I can't download it, can I? Okay, unfortunately, I think I've got an ulcer forming on my side of my tongue, but yeah, it's really painful, actually. This is the one I've been using for the last three years. This is the Elgato HD60. Now, most of the times it's been fine. But yeah, over the last few months, it's been a bit of a handful. But there we go. This is the new one. This is the Elgato HD60S. Now also, it's pretty much identical, apart from this cable. It's actually a different connector cable, so that might improve the quality. Now, I've already downloaded the program that I need. So yeah, that might be the reason why it wouldn't capture it early on today, because it doesn't have the right program. 
Even though there's not really a lot of difference between the programs, it should technically be the same program, but you don't know. You don't know. It's three years later when I bought that one. Okay, so the first time I'm going to try it. Now, hopefully, this will go white, not red. That looks good. That didn't go red. Is it on the laptop? <laughs> so far, so good. Right, okay. Okay, we've now got four options. So that's an improvement, because earlier on there was two. We've got the HD Pro Webcam C920 is what I'm using here. We've also got the Elgato Screen Link. That was new. And Elgato Game Capture HD is what was used before. And now we've got Game Capture HD 60S Video, which is there. So click on that. And hopefully, it's going to work first time. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. No, I'm going to send it back. It's no good to me. It just won't capture it. No. No dice. No dice. Um. Well, a different Elgato. It's doing exactly the same thing. So... Okay, it's now the 17th of October 2020. It's currently quarter past ten at night. Now, this week has not been good. But I'm slowly putting things better. But I want to say a big shout out to Josh Torsen. Josh Torsen from Gigabytes Technologies donated this amazing PC to the channel last year. I know what you're thinking, last year, I know. I've been so busy doing the channel, doing streams, long plays, vlogs, and various other projects, and of course working. Haven't got around to doing it, but I needed to kick out the backside to do it. Now this PC has been a good PC for three years, but it's now showing signs where it's given up the ghost. Now, for Morgan's Games' third year birthday, I thought I'm going to buy myself a new Elgato to spice it up a little bit, make it look a bit nicer. I bought the HD 60S, which cost me £165. That's where it all went wrong. It all went wrong from after there. I, I, I plugged it in, installed everything, and it just didn't work. So I gave up with it. I spent all week doing it, and I gave up. So I sent it back to Amazon, and I got my money back. Ever since then, it's been pretty much the dead as a dodo in terms of capturing. Can't capture anything. I've tried multiple systems, cannot do it. The laptop is great, it really has been good. For three years, it's been fantastic. Three years. But I think now's the time to move on. It's not going to capture anymore, it's not going to stream anymore. It's, it's, it's going to be a laptop for the basics now. For internet and maybe even a chat window or possibly a statistics screen, something like that. But streaming, no more. So that's where this amazing machine comes in. Now today I've been so busy moving everything from one place to another, installing things and testing everything. Now, at the moment it looks like a PC World service counter at the moment. There's screens, there's cables all over the place, but I'm getting there. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to try and focus on the OBS side of it. Yeah, so what I'm going to try and do is copy everything from there onto here. So what we've done so far, Discord is working perfectly on the PC. Facebook is working perfectly on the PC. YouTube is working perfectly on the PC. And I've also had to download, again, Photoshop. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get the exact one, which is 2018, so I've got to go to 2020. Now, it probably sounds stupid, but I don't like changing. I like to stick with the same program. So it's going to be a little bit different, so I've got to try and adapt to that. Same with the editor. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Filmora 8, so I had to go to Filmora X. So again, it's going to be a bit different, so I've got to try and adapt to it. But I might learn something new, who knows? So I haven't done any editing yet, but I have done some Photoshop attempts, and that's working perfectly as well. There you go, of course it's R-Type, of course it was. Did you notice though, it's actually R-Type 1 and 2 blended together? Yes, it was, there we go. So, the next one is the one I'm dreading the most. OBS. Now, Josh Torsen had already put OBS onto the computer. Now, it's actually running on Linux. Now, for those who don't know what Linux is, I'm not 100% sure myself, but I do know some things. 
Linux does not use Windows. So when I'm streaming and there's no Windows running in the background, it's going to make it run so much smoothly. Now, I was actually chatting to Steelboy earlier on today, and he mentioned you're going to notice so many differences, including your intro and your outro. It's going to be slightly different because it's not going to be stuttery anymore. And I said, you know what? I completely naturally forgot about that because it has been very, very stuttery. Because, again, this laptop is doing so many things. And uh, the amount of times the intro has been rolling or the outro has been rolling and it keeps stuttering all the time. And I did my quiz stream again, it was stuttering and it's, it's frustrating. So hopefully that will be a thing of the past. Okay, here is a different perspective. There's so much going on here, but this PC is tremendous. Now, I get paid in a week and a half's time. And when I do, I'm going to buy myself two things. The first one is I need some sort of sound blaster system or a sound bar or something like that. Now, I can use these. But I don't want to be wearing them all the time, especially when I'm editing. So I need sound. I need to get some sound. And also, I'm going to buy myself another monitor. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking of it already. You've already got one. I know I have. It's here. It's brilliant. But I just want to buy myself another one. Because this screen, this laptop, is going to be moved away. This is going to replace it. So that's going to be the screen I'm going to be following when I'm streaming or doing long plays, for example. We need another one for the chat window. And I've seen one already. I've seen it on Amazon. It's expensive, but I want to buy it anyway. And this one's going to be slightly bigger. So that's going to go there. It's going to be bigger in size, more chat on it. And this one's going to go there to replace that. So anyway, a lot going on. What I've got to try and do now is I'm going to try and go onto OBS on the laptop and copy everything and move it across to this one. And also, I'm going to use my external hard drive and transfer all my stuff from there so it's safe and then move it over to here and with a power. This is going to take quite some time, but it is now half past ten. So, there is no time like the present. I've got my cup of tea, I'm ready to rock and roll. So, let's go. Okay, it's now midnight. Everything I need for the PC is on there, so it's safe. Previous videos and streams, that sort of thing, on this one, again, they're safe. Now, both of these were donated to the channel. Thank you very much for those awesome people. The only thing I haven't moved, I'm not going to move, is on the laptop still, which is unfinished videos. Rather than moving them from there to there, I'm going to finish them where they are. And I don't need to record any more footage. I don't need to. Plus, the old guys won't work on it anyway. So I'm going to get those finished, upload them, and then move on to fresh footage. Now, this laptop, I'm not going to completely shut down and forget about. It is still a very good laptop. I just won't pick up any game capture or anything like that. But I'm going to use it as a laptop for very, very limited things. Internet and probably for statistics for long plays. I think that's going to be it. I'm not going to use anything else. Maybe a little bit of Photoshop. But apart from that, it's not going to be used a lot. But it's not going to be chucked in the bin. I'm going to use it. But anyway, enough chit chat, Jamie. We're going to focus on OBS as well. Get all the settings moved over from there to there. And hopefully now, with these, I can now make it a lot more easier for me. But there we go. Okay, it's 10 to 11 on Thursday, the 22nd of October, 2020. Now, tomorrow I'm on the early shift. Yes, I know, it's late. But I always do this. Now, this will be the final piece of footage for Vlog 9. Now, since I got home from work today, I've been editing pretty much all the time I've been here. But I'm still using the laptop because I'm trying to finish unfinished videos on the laptop before we go on to new footage. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, the laptop is so incredibly slow. Now, this new editor, I've had to do it on the laptop as well, because I had a problem with that as well, and I couldn't get Filmora 8. So, we're using Filmora X on the here, and Filmora X on here. But, yeah, it's really, really slowed it down, so it's making this video incredibly slow to edit. Anyway, unboxing time. This will be the final one for this video. This one's had a lot of unboxings. Now, this is hopefully going to be... A very, very important piece to a very, very good puzzle. Now, again, I want to say a huge shout out to Josh Chawson. Mate, this machine is absolutely tremendous. But, you know what I'm like. I'm not a technical person. I'm not great at this sort of stuff. So, it's been tough. But I have had a little bit of help along the way. But I'm getting there. So, a huge thank you to the viewers. You're all tremendous. Thank you. Now, earlier on the week, I did my first test stream on the PC. Keep your eyes on the road, Jamie. But every so often, have a look at the chat as well. Oh, you got the HD 60S, have you? It's interesting, because I really thought it was going to work. It didn't work. I mean, you're fine. Good. Um, 
I shouldn't really be having problems. I really, really shouldn't. It's a gaming laptop, but I have pushed it to the absolute limit. You know, I really have. I've really had pushed it off the... I've really pushed it to what it's capable of doing. I still think it, is, it was capable of doing more. Okay, so not a bad test. A few issues, but hopefully I can rectify those by the time the 30th arrives. Now, I'm going to be starting my streams again on the 30th of October 2020. Now, this is far, far, far into the future. Ignore that bit. It's old news. But anyway, it's the day before Halloween. This will be my third Halloween stream, and the one after that is going to be a CC4 stream, which is going to be the CC4 stream that was going to happen on Morgan Dust Games' 30th birthday. Yeah, try saying that really quickly. So, yeah. I've got another week to prepare, and this is going to be, hopefully, the final piece of the puzzle. Now, this was a very expensive item. It really, really, really was, but I desperately needed it. Now, actually... There we go. There is my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660, the final piece I need for the PC. Yeah, £202, but like I say, I'm paying it over six months, but yeah, this is desperately needed. So, it's pretty much like what I had in the laptop. It's the same make, and... Uh, yeah, it's a much larger scale. It's very heavy, surprisingly heavy, I have to admit. Key features based on Turing architecture. NVIDIA GeForce Experience. NVIDIA Ncel. NVIDIA Highlights. NVIDIA G-Sync compatible game-ready drivers. Minimum system requirements. PCI Express Complement Motherboard with one dual width time 16 graphics slot. 450 watt or greater system power supply. 1.5 gigabyte available hard disk space, 8 gigabyte system memory, 16 gigabyte recommended. Microsoft Windows 10, uh, 64 bit, April 2018, update or later. It's all gobbledygook to me, it really is, but it's going to work. It is actually going to work. GeForce Experience, the video highlights automatically record your best gaming moments. NVIDIA Ncel turns screenshots into art with 360 HDR and Super Res photos. And game ready drivers get the highest levels of performance and smoothest experience. There we go. Okay, everybody, this is my vlog 9. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been a very, very long process. It was about two, might have been three months in the end, all combined into one video. But hopefully, normal business will be resumed very, very soon. A huge shout out once again to Josh from Gigabyte Technology for the PC. A huge thank you to Anthony from Right Retro Gaming for your help. Also, the patrons, also the donators, and the moderators, and also every single one of you that tunes in and has been supporting. Thank you very much, guys. You're absolute superstars. Thank you for all your help and support. And hopefully, all be good from now on. Hopefully. There's a few more hurdles to jump over, but once we're over the hurdles, we should be fine. But anyway, this is Jamie Fordless Games. Please like this, can't be shared. Please subscribe to my channel, Facebook fan page, Please subscribe to Twitch. Just type in Fordless Games, you'll find it fairly easy. Please remember to click the bell icon and notify you if you're not fantastic. Not only these old videos, the retro long plays, hand sheets, hammer beat making, and live streams every Friday night. You'll get time at 8 o'clock. Hello, wait. Till next time, it's easy. Ciao, bye. See ya.